Ticks are nature's dirty needle. I remember when the children were little, we'd rake a pile of leaves and we'd all jump into them, myself included. And now there's such a threat outside. Be aware and beware, <laughs> beware. The outside, as wonderful as it is, isn't always our friend in terms of all the insects out there and the diseases they can transmit. So just be safe. Be safe, not sorry. Unfortunately, a lot of people have gotten really frightened of the outdoors. And especially if they have kids, they don't want their kids playing outside. They're afraid of ticks. They're afraid of Lyme disease. They have good reason to be afraid, but you know, you can't be paranoid of your environment. You, you, you miss so much. And it's true, it is a dangerous habitat that we live in. But it doesn't mean that we have to avoid it. It just means we have to take the proper precautions. You know, you wouldn't go outside in the wintertime without a coat, <laughs> you know. So why would you go out in the summertime when there's ticks active without taking the proper precautions? It's not complicated. You need to just do something to prevent the ticks from getting on you. And the way we recommend is to treat your clothes with permethrin, which is a spray. You spray the clothes, it dries on the clothes. It's good for a couple months. You can go through the wash. And it seems to be pretty close to 100% effective at killing the ticks that can get on you. I've been doing that for over 10 years. I've never found a tick on me. So that's probably the most foolproof way to do it. But no matter what you do, when you come in from being out in that habitat, you have to check yourself. First of all, take your clothes off and put them in the dryer because the dryer will kill the ticks. Half hour of high heat will kill all the ticks that might be on your clothing. They can go through the wash. They'll live through the wash cycle. They're very tough, but the heat will kill them. They can't be dried out. That's, they can't survive that. And then go take a shower and make sure you check every inch of your body for ticks. And remember, these are tiny. They're very small. Some of these ticks are as small as like a pencil point dot. So you have to be really careful and look very, very carefully for it. Certainly not stay indoors because it's important that we have that vitamin D and we get out with uh, nature and, and live in nature, but to protect themselves, to wear light colored clothing, to wear long sleeves, long pants, tuck, tuck them into the socks. Um, I would not wear something dark because you wouldn't be able to spot a tick. They're the size of a poppy seed or a sesame seed. Um, and to um, practice good prevention. Prevention is better than a cure, and a cure seems rather elusive with Lyme disease, so prevention is the key. The other thing that's important um, that I do want to mention is a tick check. Check your dog for ticks as well. You don't want to bring in ticks into your house and leaving them there. You know, what we do in our house is we spray the dog beds with the permethrin spray, the same spray you use on your clothing. And then if they lie down on the bed, there's any ticks, hopefully it'll kill them.